Today, Ukrainians, both at home and amongst the diaspora, and supporters of Ukraine celebrate Vyshevanka Day, which occurs on the third Thursday during the month of May. I am proud to speak on behalf of NDP leader and our caucus to mark Vyshevanka Day at Queen's Park. Speaker, I've had the opportunity to wear a Vyshevanka on numerous occasions, an embroidered shirt Ukrainians believe to be protection against the ills that can befall people, but also of all the good things we can experience in this life love, loyalty, and happiness. Aligned with this deep meaning behind Vyshevanka, my hope, our hope for all Ukrainians on this day and always is protection against violence, hardship, and oppression, and for lasting peace and freedom. Across Ukraine, Vyshevankas of different regions have unique patterns, ornaments, materials, and colors. This rich variety of motifs tell the story of a diverse Ukraine. However, it is a Ukraine unified through a beautiful traditional craft, embroidery, with every family having their own unique embroidered Vyshevanka. The Vyshevanka is therefore a symbol of a rich, diverse, and resilient culture. The Ontario NDP has always stood in solidarity with Ukraine and the Ukrainian community, and we will continue to do so. We will and must not forget, and we cannot lose sight of the fact that there have been hundreds of thousands of casualties and millions of people displaced because of the invasion by Putin. We will never turn a blind eye to the blatant violations of human rights and international law that continue to happen at this very moment. We also cannot forget that many of the displaced have come to Canada, but even long before the conflict, Canada has been home to many people of Ukrainian descent, and Ukrainian Canadians have long-standing communities across the country. In my riding of Parkdale High Park, it is home to a thriving Ukrainian community, and since the beginning of the conflict, I have witnessed many moving instances of community care in support of Ukraine. In fact, this evening, the Ukrainian Canadian Congress is hosting a community parade at Jane and Bloor in my riding in support of those still fighting for freedom and democracy in Ukraine. There are many more examples of community care. Last September, the Ukrainian festival organizers hosted a solidarity march. The Ukrainian Immigrant Aid Society, a nonprofit based in my riding, have provided settlement support to refugees. There are many, many events that have happened and are continuing to happen. Many families have opened their arms and welcomed Ukrainian refugees into their homes. Speaker, communities across Ontario and Canada are doing their part, and the provincial government must continue to do the same. It is important today to wear Vishavanka. It is also important for government, this government, to promote through action and policy what Vishavanka stands for, resilience for Ukrainians in the face of adversity. Thank you.